Alright, so for those of you just tuning in, we're about to do a Pokemon X and Y viewer battle against one of my good viewers, uh, Blue Boy. Does he have any numbers in his name? Blue Boy 94. Blue Boy 94. Of course, this battle was done during my Twitch TV live stream, so if you're not aware, I do live stream Pokemon weekly. So you totally tune in. Alright, so today I'm going to bring the following Pokemon. I'm going to bring Tyrantrum Gudra. Mawile, Cloyster, Whimsicott, and Arcanine. Good old Edgeworth over there. Hmm. If you leave me a video comment or a uh, comment in the Twitch chat on um, which Pokemon you think will be the MVP of this particular battle. And of course, leave me a like rating if you do enjoy this. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Team of Threats. He's got a very solid UU OU team. Going on here. I think he'll probably lead with Frostlass. I'm kind of okay with this, honestly. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Uh, Bisharp is always annoying. I'm really glad that I'm not bringing a sticky web team this time, because uh, Bisharp has the ability Defiance, ability to sort of function as a kind of passive thing in Pokemon. Uh, the ability Defiant, meaning that if anything was to lower its stats, it would instead raise its attack, by, uh, attack stat by two levels, essentially doubling it, which would be pretty scary for me. I would rather not deal with that if I can. He does leave with Frostlass, pretty predictable, but I mean, I'm leading with Tyrantrum, it's pretty obvious. Trying to get this thing to work, this thing doesn't do anything when I want it to. He's gonna go straight for the Ice Beam, that's fine. I know I'll live that. Yep, because I'm Focus Ash. Gonna go straight for the Stealth Rock. Hmm, that is a threatening team. He's got so many potential sweepers in here, and he's got a very, very strong wall with his Milotic. What can I use to break his team? How should I approach this battle? If I can take out his Milotic, his team is relatively squishy. Uh, his two Steel types can take hits relatively well. His team's pretty well balanced. Uh, considering that his squishy Pokemon are weak to Fire type, but his, his defensive Pokemon Milotic covers that. Uh, covers that pretty well. Milotic being Water type actually does resist the uh, Fire type attacks. Alright, let's see. I know this thing's faster than me. I, I wonder if he's uh, scarfed in some way. I know that when I ran my Frostlass, I ran a Choice Scarf. So we'll see if he's locked into Ice Beam. I'm pretty sure he's going to go for Ice Beam again, which is fine. I'm going to uh, keep Tyrantrum alive for Death Fodder, uh, but I might be able to use it at some point. He's going to go for Ice Beam again. I, I know Cloyster resists that. I still don't take that extremely well, though. Oh no, Dark, Dark Trust, no, that's not good enough for YouTube, it's just that wasn't a close battle, or an interesting one, really. But you definitely, definitely beat me good, but uh, there wasn't a single switch done in that entire battle. It wasn't really much strategy, it was just you spamming fighting, uh, fighting type moves and me not having a team that could handle it. I don't think they could really take it. Okay, so my question is, is this guy, is he scarfed? Is he now suddenly locked in to Ice Beam? I wonder what his plan is here. Oh my god! Oh my god! This thing is thunder! Oh, that's terrifying. Thank goodness that missed. That probably wouldn't kill me, uh, but that was that was pretty lucky on my part that I got that missed. That is good. Damage is damage. I'm gonna get the Toxic off, which should break his Focus Sash if, if he's Sash. I have no idea what set he's running, if he's Scarfed or he's Focus Sash, but... Frostlass, wow. This thing's got thunder. Oh, that's scary. That's really scary. Hmm. It looks like this is an attacking Frostlass. He's definitely... I mean, I resist that Ice Beam, and that still did a reasonable amount. I wonder if he's, like, invested in special attack heavily. Perhaps he's, like... Perhaps he has tons of uh, attacks. He's got Thunder... So what else could he run? He's got Thunder, Ice Beam... I guess he has Spikes and Destiny Bond? Or maybe he's got Shadow Ball. I wonder if this thing has uh, non-attacking moves. That heavily, heavily influences my decision. Now, I could make a risky play, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I was I was really considering going out into my uh, Mawile here to threaten it out with a Sucker Punch, considering that this thing might not even have any non-attacking moves. I don't know, this thing might be a full, uh, full offensive set. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a shiny Arcanine that was donated by Pokemon Master Ren. Big thanks as always to him. The only thing that's missing is, I uh, wish it was named Edgeworth, but alas, he got that in a trade. But yeah, no, Ren is uh, donating a lot of really awesome Pokemon to me, so... Very much appreciated. Alright, let's see, what's his course of action here? Uh, I don't think... Okay, actually, I know for a fact that Frostlass has nothing that could kill me from this point. We've already seen how much damage Thunder does. Does about 60 damage. If he went for it again, he'd just die. So what's his plan? Is he going to go for another Thunder again? Or is he going to switch out? I'm going to predict him to switch out into his Milotic. So I'm going to go for a Wild Charge. Oh, he stays in. Alright, well, I... Oof. Well, I may have just fucked myself with that one. <laughs> Wow! I Alright, so he stayed in. I, I thought that the Flare Blitz was too obvious. Um, considering that the only thing on his team that could take the Flare Blitz is Milotic, I thought it'd be safe to go for the uh, Wild Charge here, thinking that he'd switch out, but he actually stays in and goes for Shadow Ball. I guess in retrospect, that probably is one of the best plays he could have made, uh, was to stay in uh, and go for the Shadow Ball and just kill me that way. Because if he went out into Milotic, I would have gotten the free Wild Charge off. And Wild Charge is probably like a 3 at KO on that. I should be faster than his Milotic. So... <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe he knew. Maybe he knew I was going to go for that. Uh... Hmm. I wonder what he's going to go into now. Now his Frostlass is gone. He might go into Gengar. Gengar is safe. Or he could just go into Scizor and just pivot out with a U-turn. That's always a thing. Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, almost everything in his team does not want to deal with uh, Gudra. Ah, yes. He has so much priority in his team, man. Uh, things have Bullet Punch and Sucker Punch up the wazoo. Moves that always go first. Alright, so he chose to go on to Honchkrow, that's fine. Takes a bit of Stealth Rock damage on entry. Sounds good to me. Hmm. Considering that he stayed in there with Frostlass, which was pretty risky, this guy does not seem like he's prone to switching very much. Uh, so, I'm not going to make any risky plays. Go straight for that T-Bolt. Yeah, that paid off extremely well. Oh yeah, he's just going to go for the Sucker Punch right away. Oh my goodness, that's a 2 hit KO. That is a strong Honchkrow. Gumshoe's very tanky. Gumshoe is very, very bulky. He takes hits extremely well. But wow, even on the physical side. It's a strong Sucker Punch. Then again, Honchkrow is a very powerful Pokemon. Very big threat. Very cool Pokemon indeed. So he's going to take that thing straight out with a T-Bolt. I almost went for a Flamethrower there, but uh, he might have wanted to stay in. And if I went for a Flamethrower, predicting him to go into either uh, Bisharp or Scizor to take that... Now, I'm curious what his plan is here, because... Actually, wait, no. Abandoned Bullet Punch? Oh, no, this might be his Mega Evolution. This could be Mega Scizor. Hmm. How am I going to take this thing out? This is definitely Mega Scizor. I'm in a rather rough spot right now. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. No, I, I actually have a thing for this. Let's see. How much do I need Gudra, though? I do need Gudra. I do I? I shouldn't fodder him. Oh, what if he wants to go for a Swords Dance, though? Mmm. He might just want to go for a Swords Dance. And then my only way of dealing with... Milotic, okay. Alright, I do have a game plan here. No matter what happens, I figured this out. He might want to go for Swords Dance. I was really, 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 really considering going out into my Tyrantrum there to just have it die to the world's most obvious bullet punch. However, there's a chance here that he might have wanted to go for something else, like a Swords Dance, so if I stay in and I go for the Flamethrower, I can just kill him right off the bat, basically forcing him to go for the bullet punch there. Looks like he was actually being greedy there, and he wanted to go for perhaps a Swords Dance. 
But if I went on a Tyrantrum there and he went for the Swords Dance, I probably would have gotten swept, honestly. Uh, he probably would have taken out my entire team. So I, I felt like I had to keep Gudra in here. I don't know if I would live the Bullet Punch. I probably honestly wouldn't live the Bullet Punch uh, from his Mega Scizor. It might actually kill me, or I'd live with just a teeny bit. So I was willing to lose Gudra here. Why? Because I, I'm going through this thought process, guys, in my mind. I've got this game plan here, right? If Gudra dies... Uh, so let's say, let's say Gudra doesn't... Like, he goes for a Swords Dance, right? I kill him, like, exactly as it happened. But what if he went for the Bullet Punch? And he killed me. What's my plan then? Easy Sneezy. Uh, I go out into Rattle Trap here, my Mawile. Brand new, by the way. Just freshly bred. And then I can threaten out his Scizor with a Fire Fang. I know that Mawile can live basically any hit that he has, and I get a free Intimidate on the switch in because of my ability. Intimidate is whenever I switch in. It uh, cuts my opponent's Pokemon's attack stat by one level, reducing it by 50%. Hmm. I don't know what this Mawile wants to do to me, honestly. So I'm going to stand and find out. Is it Ice Beam? It's Ice Beam. Right. And now, when I thought about it, like, Gudra has Thunderbolt, right? So, you know, it would be nice to keep around for Mawile. I mean, sorry for uh, Milotic. But I do have another way of dealing with Milotic. I actually have my... Uh, I actually have my Cloyster, uh, which can t actually take uh, Milotic out with Toxic. I can stall it out with that. So, I actually don't really need uh, Gumshoe anymore. So, I was more than willing to lose Gumshoe there. <laughs> Looks like I'm actually... I'm faster than this Milotic, right? I think I am faster, right? Whatever. It's okay if I lose Gumshoe. I don't mind. I should be slower, though. Okay, no, I'm actually slower. Oh, he went for Hydro Pump there. Oh, no, he really should have gone for Ice Beam. He was probably predicting my switch or something like that, but he really should have gone for Ice Beam. Ooh, because I would have lived the Hydro Pump even if you, even if it hit because uh, I resisted. And, oh, that's really unfortunate there. That's really unfortunate. Now, here's the thing. If he hit his Thunder at the very beginning, it actually probably would have killed Cloyster. Uh, which would mean that I might, uh, which means that I would struggle more against that uh, Milotic, but I still would be able to kill it, uh, with Whimsicott as well, so... I definitely, I definitely had a plan going here, and that Thunder didn't change too much. It would have changed the, the course of the game a little bit, but I still would be able to handle it. However, that Hydro Pump there was a huge misplay! Oh! I don't know about that Hydro Pump. Ice Beam would have probably killed me. You know, Ice Beam should have killed me. Um... And then he'd be in a then he'd be in a reasonable situation. Yeah. Now my is faster than me. Let's see. Like native speed nature or something crazy. It never happens. Um, this Gengar is just gonna straight up kill whenever I. Hmm. Do I need Gumshoe at all? Gumshoe is not faster than anything he has. As much as I want to keep Gumshoe alive for principal purposes, if he wants to go for a substitute here or something like that, I'm not having any of that. I gotta, I gotta take these risks, so... Alright, yeah, I'm gonna... What? I live the Dazzling Gleam at 3 HP! Oh my goodness, Gumshoe's such a tank! Holy good lord! That's amazing. Gumshoe doing work! That's crazy. Yeah, uh... Un-X Ortho... Uh... Unorthodox. I'm just gonna call you unorthodox. <laughs> uh, I've got all the stuff below the live stream, but if that doesn't make any sense to you, I'll gladly answer any more specific questions. But wow, I cannot believe I lived that. He also lived that Dragon Pulse too. Wow, Gumshoe's strong, man. Strong. But yeah, Tonka already answered it too. <laughs> no problem though. And, uh, an eyewitness chicken. Actually, everybody answered it. <laughs> yeah, don't fuck with Gumshoe, guys. Gumshoe's strong. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm. Hex, that's cool. And time for Mega Mawile's debut! Technically, I've used him in one battle before, but Dark Trout done mop the floor with me. That monotype fighting team doe. Uh, team doe. Alright, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go Mega Evolve on this turn. We get to see my brand new Mega Mawile. Wow. Today will be the day that uh, I get to showcase this thing. Yeah, Gumshoe, man. He's strong. Strong. Strong like ox. Eats up all those hits, man. 
right, we're gonna go for the sucker punch, predicting the any single attacking move this thing has. But it failed. Ah! And he goes for hypnosis and it misses. Oh my goodness, this guy's a hypnosis. Oh, hypnosis hex. Cool combo, man. I really dig it. You're getting really unlucky this game, though, which sucks. Uh, that turned out to be a smart play, though, because I went for a sucker punch, but... Wow, okay. That didn't really matter either, I guess, in retrospect, because... I mean, you're, you're only down to two Pokemon, but... Eh, that would have been nice if it hit. Uh, it's really unfortunate that you keep missing these things, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh shit, now I'm in an awkward situation because now he's just gonna. Alright. Alright, if you're gonna keep going for hypnosis, man, I'm just gonna go out into Tyrantrum and. Oh no! He switches out. What you going into? What you going into? What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk up in that trunk? Let's walk on Ubers. <laughs> Ooh, another, another shiny Bisharp, man. These guys are cool. Oh god. Alright, well now he gets a free turn to do whatever the hell he wants. Um, Alright, get him, Tyrantrum! Okay, I have to go for a Fire Fang here, because I know he's just going to go for Sucker Punch and just kill me outright, but if he wanted to be super duper greedy and go for a Swords Dance or something again, then Fire Fang would just kill him right outright. But you know, with the Smart Play, go for the Sucker Punch, not taking any risks. This is a closer battle than it looks, honestly. Oh, that Gengar, though, that Hypnosis. If that hit, I, I do have a plan for that. I, I definitely wouldn't... It, it would it would make this battle longer, though. It would set me back quite a bit, but... I do have a plan. Alright, go get him, Whimsicott! This is all you. Do what you do. Do that thing that you do best. Hit him with your annoy move! Here comes the comebacks, guys. <laughs> this is this is also this is a closer battle than it looks. So I'm gonna encore him to sucker into sucker punch. Why? Because what encore does, guys, is it locks you uh, your opponent into the move that you just used before, so he can only keep using that move for uh, like three turns. And sucker punch, what it does is it always goes first if your opponent does an attacking move. But if your opponent does not use an attacking move and uses some sort of status move or move that doesn't deal damage, sucker punch fails. It's a very powerful dark type attack, but. It does fail if uh, I don't use an attacking move here. And now that I have him locked into uh, Sucker Punch, I can do whatever I want to this guy, which sounds pretty swell to me. Now we're going to go for the Leech Seed. So here's what would happen. Let's say he did land that Hypnosis on my Mawile. Would be unfortunate, but here's what I'd do. I would just go out into Whimsicott here, and I would Encore him into Hypnosis or something like that. Ah... Uh it would take quite a while for who I think his Gengar should three hit KO my Maw Wow with no matter what he wants to go with. Uh, but if he got, you know, like a max turn sleep, that would have been awkward, definitely. But after after he puts my Maw Wow to sleep as well, Cloyster could just come in and kill him, but He's in a pretty good position right now, honestly. Aha! He wants to switch out, which is fine with me, because I'm going to go for this substitute. <laughs> yeah, I have almost the same age as Slash that, Neil. Alright, I'm going to go for the substitute here. Uh, wait, did his Gengar just die to Stealth Rocks? I wasn't watching. <laughs> I, think, I think his Gengar just died to Stealth Rocks. Did that just happen? Oh my god, it just happened. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> today is not your day, I don't know. Man, you've missed literally everything today. Oh, I'm sorry that it happens to uh, turn out that way. I don't know, here's what you gotta do after this battle. You gotta remove all moves on your team that don't have 100% accuracy, okay? <laughs> after this battle, you gotta take them all out. Screw Thunder, you are now a Thunderbolt only. Blue Boy 94. No more Hydro Pump. You, you now only run Surfer's Gold. I don't know. That's how I battle, because honestly, for me, every move that doesn't have, like, 90% plus accuracy never lands, so... That's why I really try to avoid using moves without 100% accuracy. Like, I'll never run Stone Edge. Stone Edge never hits for me. It has, like, a 50% accuracy. 
Well, you know, it sucks that this Bisharp is actually immune uh, to Toxic, so I can't really stall it out here. It's really about now that I wish I put Moonblast on this thing, but Moonblast was never doing anything for me, so... Alright, well here's what I'll do, I'll just keep spamming this. <laughs> He's probably gonna set up another uh, Swords Dance, right? Oh no, he went for Iron Head. I'm okay with that. I just didn't want him to... Hmm... Actually, in retrospect, I should have Encored him to Swords Dance. Right then, I thought he would have gone for another Swords Dance, and I wanted uh, to get as many extra turns of Leech Seed damage as I could. That way he could like one-shot everything by setting up those two Swords Dances. Looks like he opts to go for just one, which is totally A-OK -okay with me. But Iron Hit is most definitely going to kill me. This was my game plan here. This is a lot closer match than it looks, guys. This is a very close match, actually. This might have been one of the closest battles, actually, uh, if he landed everything. Yeah, no, I, I can't run Stone Edge, man. It's like a 20% accuracy. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna go for the Encore here, lock him into Iron Head. That way he's gotta kill me, and then Mobile can come back in and clean house. So here's the plan. <clears throat> I'm gonna die to an Iron Head, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about that. I don't want him going for anything else. And then, uh, because he's locked into Iron Head, which is a Steel-type move, I can go out into my Mega Mobile here, which is Steel Fairy-type. And I know I can live one sword stance boosted Iron Head. I know I can live one. Uh, and yeah, I can just kill this thing with a Fire Fang. So that should be that. Unless this does way more damage than I thought it did. And <gasps> oh my god, I lived at one? I'm getting extremely lucky this battle. All right, so apparently I take that quite worse than I thought I did. Wait, I think, yeah. Well, I actually took that quite worse than I thought I did. I was pretty sure I would live that with like 10%, not like 1 HP, but wow. <laughs> Jesus, man, that was, a, that was a really, really, really close battle. I can't, not, cannot stress that enough. And a great one, too. I had a lot of fun with that battle. <laughs> RNGs is this, man. RNGs is this battle. It's crazy, crazy. GG, well played. Blue Bolt, really fun battle. Uh, real pleasure playing against you. You're very good battlers here. And I really, really dig your team. You got a great team going on. And yeah. Thank you for playing, sir. I hope you all enjoyed watching this battle. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like rating as well as to check out my YouTube channel. Links below the live stream. Or if you're watching it on YouTube, then don't forget to check out my Twitch TV channel, which links are in the video description. Thank you for the support as always, guys. I really appreciate it. And stick around, stick around, because we'll be getting to the next battle very, very shortly. GG well played once again, blue boy.